Tonight, the Mecklenburg County Board of Commissioners passed a resolution supporting immigrants and Sheriff Gary McFadden. This comes just one day after protesters shut down streets in Uptown, rallying for immigrants' rights, and weeks after ICE arrested dozens of immigrants in Charlotte. NBC Charlotte Savannah Levins was there for the passage of the resolution. She's live at the Government Center. Savannah? Yeah, here at the government center tonight, Fred Sheriff McFadden was very open about this issue with commissioners who expressed their full support for the sheriff's publicly controversial decisions regarding immigrants in the county. The Mecklenburg County Board of Commissioners declare support for our immigrant residents and our sheriff. An all Democratic Board of Commissioners threw their support behind Sheriff Gary McFadden Tuesday night. You certainly are the epitome of a leader. The sheriff smiling as each member complimented his refusal to partner with ICE on large scale immigration enforcement. By targeting immigration community with raids, threats, deportation, that makes us and them lose trust, causing crimes to go unreported mm -hmm. in our community. This comes two weeks after an ICE raid in Charlotte that reportedly led to more than a dozen arrests. We have ICE agents in conjunction with the gang task force. Immigration activists say the raid was a targeted response to Sheriff McFadden recently ending the 287G program, which was a partnership between the Sheriff's Office and ICE that allowed deputies to check the immigration status of anyone booked into jail. I, like other sheriffs around this great state, do not believe that the role of the sheriff's office is to actively partner with ICE. It's outrageous that these federal employees are making any comments about how you are performing your job, the job we elected you to do. Thank you. Among supporters, applause and handshakes, Sheriff McFadden accepting the board's support after weeks of controversy. Now, of course, the sheriff has received some backlash about all of this as well. Some saying that by ending the 287G program, it's just going to be harder to identify immigrants living in our neighborhoods illegally. Meanwhile, ICE says their work will continue here in Mecklenburg County. Reporting live from the Government Center, Uptown, Savannah Levins, NBC Charlotte.